Welcome everyone to another edition of HCW. We are here before Christmas chaos and what a chaotic show that is more than likely going to be. But right now, we are getting ready. The lights are out. I can hear the music playing. And here it comes, man. This is going to be something spectacular. Because the winner of this match will challenge Bubba Fett for the bloody television title. The Crow is back on HCW. The Crow is back to challenge the premiere, or I should say the debut of a newcomer. We've only seen the crow one other time on HCW. And either way, man, I think what we are about to see is going to be a hell of an encounter. There he is, the crow, Eric Draven, seeker of vengeance. And here is his opponent, John Wick. I apologize, it is not uh, the, I said Bubba Fett. I misspoke. I don't know why. I just got a memo saying Bubba Fett will challenge at the Tribute to the Troops, our final show of 2021. But that challenge, we still have a long way to go. The winner of this match, as the Crow goes right after Wick, will challenge the new TV champion, Usher, the HHN icon Usher, wick into the, into the ropes, and the Crow just stopping out. Big knee to the, the back of the head there. And John Wick with a forearm. Well, the Fett's TV title opportunity comes a week before the Book of Bubba Fett debuts, final show of 2021, a tribute to the troops. The winner of this thing, right here, will challenge Usher at Christmas Chaos on the 19th. A huge clothesline by John Wick on the Crow. Cover, and not even a one count. I think it's going to take a lot to keep both of these guys down. And uh, the Crow just hammering away on John Wick there. Big smile by the crow. The crow just gave the signal, and John Wick sidesteps that knee. The crow of a kick. Wick into the corner. John Wick with a belly to back suplex, nicely executed. Good way to kick things off tonight. Cru oh! Cruiserweight title match, our main event of the evening tonight. Cannot wait for that one. And Wick and Crow countered. Big time me. These two are matching each other seemingly move for move. One, kick out. The Crow, I think, is going to find out relatively soon that John Wick, you're going to have to to really do a number on him. There's the, there's the knee. 
Let's get a setup. He calls this retribution. And he nails it. Went down, middle of the ring. Seemingly unconscious. One, two, and John Wick kicked out. Wow. Crow can't believe it. Either can I. He hit that knee and that kick perfectly. And he's waiting for Wick to get up again. And he hits retribution a second time. One, two, and Wick got the shoulder up. Unbelievable. Now going up to the top, I think desperation may be setting in. And whatever that was going to be, he missed. Crow now on the apron. Worse for wear. I can't believe Wick is standing. Huge. Just straight punch right to the bridge of the nose. Sends the Crow all the way out to the floor. Shot by John Wick. Eric Draven, all of a sudden, is in trouble. Wick, oh, just put him on the security uh, barrier there. John Wick took the Crow's best shot and is still standing. That is impressive. Oh, and Wick throwing the Crow into the steel post. Wick sends Crow into the ring. Cover after throwing him into that post. One. Oh my god, only a one count. And that's got to be a little bit humbling for John Wick. Belly to back suplex again. Crow. One. Two. Wick kicks out. This thing... The Crow trying to recenter himself, I'm guessing. Big time DDT by John Wick. Rolls the Crow over. One, two, and still not enough. John Wick looks like he huge knee again by the crow sends Wick in kick just a forearm right to the kidneys I mean these guys Threw everything at each other. And look at this. Oh! Belly to belly overhead into the turnbuckle. Retribution a third time on John Wick. He's not moving. Dragging him away from the ropes. Cover. One. Two. John Wick catch out. And the Crow is angry about the referee being out of position. Close line. Another one. Quick. Misses. John Wick really, I think, had and another knee. Jeez, the Crow punishing John Wick. Knee to the sternum. How is Wick still fighting? I think that's a question that fans of his movies probably ask a lot. And now... Execution! Cover! One! Two! John Wick has done it! John Wick pins the crow! I can't believe it! And John Wick will challenge the Usher at Christmas Chaos for the TV title. I mean, you cannot take anything away from the Crow, but John Wick 
you cannot say does not deserve the title match. As he literally gave everything, took everything Crow had to offer. And we are in the middle, and here we go. This is interesting. We got Beetlejuice and Ghostface taking on two of the uh, this new formed group, the Cult Classics. Beetlejuice and Ghostface, along with their Fred, the original Freddy Krueger. The original Freddy will battle. The other member of the network, Hunt Chief, Jimmy, at Christmas Chaos. Clothesline by Ghostface on J-Bro here. The network, of course, the three-man champions in HCW. This thing out of control. But Ghostface doing a number on J-Bro. Phenom down. Beetlejuice kind of getting the upper hand there. Ghostface J dragging J-Bro into the and a neck breaker. Phenom now getting the upper hand on Beetlejuice. Ghostface just trying to hyperextend the knee it looks like. Of Jason. DDT. Ghostface looking for that Springfield slasher. Drills him with it. Cover. And Phenom is going to get right in there. And break that count up. And now Ghostface turns his attention to him sit down bomb Beetlejuice is going crazy right now so he went to Dante's Beetlejuice with a back kick on Jason but Jason runs him over Beetlejuice here what and uh, nope Reverse DDT. We get Beetlejuice on Jason here. Sandworm on Jason. And now with Ghostface in the corner, John checking on Jason there momentarily. But now, look at that. The slide of death by John on Ghostface. And this has been an unexpected tightly contested contest here what action we have seen tonight John big time elbow on Ghostface from the top Beetlejuice sit down bomb on Jason one two John breaking that one up and he just side clotheslined I mean he nailed Beetlejuice that looked like it hurt John going to take Beetlejuice to the top. Beetlejuice countering, comes back down. Exploder suplex, just rocking John. And another huge slam by Beetlejuice. And now to straight shots to the head. But John getting up with a kick and a knee. Cover. One, two. Jason sending Ghostface to the floor. John. Big time power slam there by John on Beetlejuice. 
Will that be enough? He's got him in a camel clutch. Jason, big time hanging ghost race up there. Beetlejuice. Gonna hit the sandworm again. And more straight shots to the face. This is gnarly. Beetlejuice. Ghostface has got Jason tied up. Sit down bomb. One. Two. The Cold Classics have beaten the network in tag team competition. Big time win for Ghostface and Beetlejuice. This was a highly contested matchup here. All three, or all four, I should say, men. Up in it. But in the end, it was Ghostface and Beetlejuice that got it done here tonight. Big time win. Surprising win. And here we go. Harley Quinn now with the Joker on her way down. We now know that Nightwing and Joker, this this rivalry that has been developed ever since the events of All Out War Joker and Nightwing are going to get it on at Christmas Chaos but ahead of Christmas Chaos these two women are going to duke it out here And here comes Raven. Harley meeting Raven with forearms sends her into the ropes and no ball away slam there Nightwing after what was in a, you can't really blame Joker for the loss I mean you could blame the entire DC team I suppose Kick there by Harley, taking Raven down, but she's right back up. Sends Harley into the corner. Drop kick to the back. But, I mean, Nightwing has really t took it upon himself to, to go after Joker for the loss at All Out War. Which is why Star-Lord will challenge Caretaker for the title. Kick there. Nope. And Joker distracting Raven now. Oh, kick to the gut by Harley. And a clothesline. Oh, God. A vicious stomp to the face. 
Double knees. And again. One of Harley's favorite moves. One. Two. And Raven able to kick out. Harley waiting for her. Still to come, Jack Torrance against Luke Skywalker for the Cruiserweight title. Big time DDT. One, two. Raymond kicks out again. Harley going to the top rope now. Just like Crow and John Wick earlier. And whatever this was, Raven countered. And Harley's in the ropes, though. But that looks like it, it hurt. It knocked her right in the head. And big-time clothesline misses. And Quinn arm drags. Nice move there by Raven. Sends Quinn in the corner. This time she hits the clothesline in the corner. Telling Harley, get up. And on the big time stunner move. One, two. Raven beats Harley and that leads into this match at Christmas Chaos. Joker came out ahead on the altercation last week. But tonight, Raven for Teen Titans really kind of settles the score there. Does a number. What a matchup, though, for these two women. And it was a good, I mean, it was, it was a good matchup that saw that woman right there as Joker, much to Joker's chagrin. Look at Harley Quinn there down on the mat. Raven. It is cruiserweight title time. Luke Skywalker on his way down to the ring. Jack Torrance. Will he be able to defeat Luke here? Luke looks ready for this opportunity. But I have no doubt that Jack Torrance is ready, willing, and able as well. Luke checks the scene here. Looks confident that he is going to be the next cruiserweight champion. But here comes the cruiserweight champion. Jack Torrance 
He won that title straight up. No ands, ifs, nor buts about it. looks ready how big of a challenge is this for Jack Torrance We are getting eventually a new cruiserweight title it is being forged it'll be presented to whoever the Cruiserweight Champion is sometime in 2022. Until then, that is our Cruiserweight Championship, the old school retro title being held up by Steve Yagasaki. Ring the bell, here we go. This ought to be a good contest. And Jack Torrance with a Hurricanrana right out of the gate. I would not have expected that from him. I don't think Luke did either. Armbar wrenching the shoulder. Torrance sends Luke into the ropes. Luke goes down. Big time back elbow. That was gnarly. Jack. And Luke sends Jack over the top rope to the floor. Drop kick by Luke. Got to remember champion's advantage. Jack blocks that shot, answers with one of his own, and now a, like an open hand, belly to back, or belly to belly, like bridge suplex there. Like I was saying, champion's advantage is the count is at five. You got to keep that in mind. Luke kicking Jack off of him. Both men back in before the count hit eight. Luke into the ropes again. Jack back elbow again. Jack Torrance has looked very impressive, honestly. But Luke blocking that kick shot right at the top of the kneecap. Luke, right there. Snap suplex, right in the middle of the ring, nicely done. Luke now. And... Oh! Big time neck breaker. Slam right there. That could change the entire matchup. No. Oh, Jack with a jawbreaker, kind of quelling the momentum, but Luke blocks the drop kick, brings the momentum right back around to him. Headlock. Cover. One. Kick there. Sends Luke into the corner. Luke into the corner again. Huge kick to the face. And another one. Luke looks stunned. Torrance looking. Looking for the red rum. Red Rum, perfectly executed. Luke out. Cover. One, two, three. Jack Torrance, still cruiserweight champion. Going into Christmas chaos. He ends his 2021 
with that cruiserweight title seemingly big time impressive victory for Jack Torrance over Luke after that knee leads into the red rum Jack Torrance walks out still cruiserweight champion we will see you at Christmas Chaos on the 19th 